Don't worry, everybody. I've returned. I am back from my trip. And what do you mean you didn't notice I was gone? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, because I, I didn't, I definitely didn't miss you at all. Mm hmm. Hello, all, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Junk Drawer, where if I build something once, I cannot build it again. Last time, which was a long time ago, let's see if I can remember what we did. I think we just added to the building block base. That won't be happening today, so don't need to worry about that. I am back from my trip. It has been too long. I mean, I told you, I told you it was going to be two weeks, but it felt longer to me for some reason, and I am so ready to be back. It's going to be a very full couple of weeks here soon because guess what i started another series well not me specifically it's a multiplayer series and i was invited so that's super exciting and it's gonna cut into my editing time a little bit so we're gonna see how i do with running two series at the same time it's my first time trying this okay we're gonna we're gonna make it work though i'm not stressing about it i can't give you much information other than it's a multiplayer series and i am excited for it also i'm just doing laps around the base because re-familiarizing myself i have a pretty Pretty bad memory so I'm just trying to remember where everything is and what I've done I've kind of forgotten what this thing looked like does it still look just as yep it still looks just as janky in the world as it did in my head okay well that was fun I'm not taking it down I might not look at it very often I explain all the multiplayer and stuff cuz I'm gonna have to chill out a little bit on the junk drawer series like I'm obviously I'm not gonna stop Believe it or not, I've been moving very fast for me. Might need to move a little bit slower. My weeks are about to get very full. I also wanted to ask you, since I may not be able to do as much stuff on the junk drawer world as I would like, would you be interested in watching me stream this world? Would I be interesting as a streamer? I don't even know. I've never tried it before. It kind of freaks me out, honestly. Stage fright and all, but it's fine. Do you think I could do it? Okay, cool. Thanks. Leave your answers in the comments if you think about it. But that's enough about future plans and past trips, although I might have stories about that. That could be something we could do on stream, is I could tell you all the stories of what happened on our vacation, how we got stuck, and how I almost drowned, and how my brother-in-law almost got stabbed by a harpoon. It was great. Enough about that. But let's talk about what we're doing today. Again, I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit, uh, not as mega base making level of excitement. Today, I think we're gonna, uh, well, I guess we are kind of mega base making, but we're gonna do some of the detailing on there. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. I want to get a lot of the wooden boardwalks done that I had planned on doing. Maybe not full interiors yet, because I'm still not entirely certain. Hi, Torch. What I'm going to be doing with the inside. Hopefully trying to maybe make it my actual base. I don't know. Maybe it would be cool if we could live in it, but that's a lot of space to fill. Eh, we'll find out. But I definitely want to get a bridge at the very least connected to it. And another thing to get off of the Torch chart would be to go grab some Ender Pearls, which I think I will do right now. Let's go to the Nether. Why, why do I say that so casually? That's never, it's never a casual day in the Nether with me. I need a Looting Sword at the very, very least. Why do I have Soul Speed Boot? Where did I get those? Forgot I trimmed my armor. Does this- what is this? Hold on. Does it look as weird as I remember? Yeah, never mind. It looks weirder than I remember. Okay, well, uh, dune, dune armor trim, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like. What was I doing? Okay. Ooh, I might have to go deep slate mining again. Never mind. Never mind. Guess who doesn't have a looting sword? I guess we're gonna have to go get um, some levels first so I can enchant that. That's great. Thank you past me for thinking ahead. So nice of you. Okay, finally, good gosh. I have never had that much trouble trying to enchant something. That took probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get looting on this sword. And it's made of iron because I need it for the nether. Okay, do I have everything I need? Probably not. Let's go double check. I have all my diamond tools on me. I don't want, I, we don't, we, we can't have that. Ender pearls, ender pearls. So I know how to do this. I've just never done it before. And I'm a little bit nervous about it. Endermen are kind of no joke. Oh, you're still here. Go oh, you've got a friend. Maybe I should build something around that portal so I'm out, so I'm not completely exposed every time I come through. I can't get up my path. I'm gonna get to the warped forest before I start whacking away. If 
from there, I just need to build a quick little fort. I am nervous. I don't like this part. I think the hardest part is gonna be running away as quickly as possible. Go right here for now. And this is my Enderman proof fighting arena-ish thing. Okay, here we go. Hey, dude. Oh, he is unfazed. Hey, I just looked you dead in the eye. Oh, there's a lot over there. This is what we came for. Hey, you. Hey, nobody wants to look at me. Okay, fine. Here. Hi. Hi. There you are. Hi. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Where'd you go? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop. Just let me. Thank you. Okay. There's first batch. Hi. Whoa. Hi. Ah! Oh, too close. Too close. Too close. They keep appearing places and I don't know where. Gosh, this is freaky. I just looked right at you. Come on. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there you are. Hold still. Please. Thank you. Whoa, okay. Did not think this through. Did not think this through. Did not think this through. Okay. We're good. Hi. Thank you for your sacrifice. I'm so sorry for your loss of life. I don't hear anymore near me. Might need to move. Wow. Look at you all climbing trees. I don't like that there's lava right there. And right there. And everywhere. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Please don't die, 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 please don't die. We're not going that way anymore. Here's quite a few. Hi. I'm sorry, I wish I were here under better circumstances. Hi. Hey, I'm looking at you. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> it's kind of funny when they're not attacking you, they don't know what to do, so they just like start running around like scared chickens. Okay, cool. We got 20. Nice. That was the goal. Let's go home. You are all so annoying. Hello. Go away, please. Thank you. We got the Ender Pearls. Looting definitely helped there. Let's see. So we've got... 26. That's pretty good, I think. So we've got pretty much everything we need to go to the end if we wanted. That's a scary thought. Let's move on. I just realized something. I have ender pearls and I have blaze rods and I'm pretty sure I have some extra obsidian. I do. Guys, this is a big day for me. This is a glorious day. This is a huge day for box kind. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's that. Nope, it needs to be blaze powder. I forgot. Okay. Oh, I want to hold it. I want to hold it. I'm going to hold it. <gasps> this is my very first Eye of Ender ever. I am freaking out on the inside because I know what this means. I need to do it now. I mean, obviously not now, but I need to do it in this series now. Okay, I'm going to need some encouragement in the comments, but that's not why we're here. That's not, nope, that's not even what we're here for. Okay, Eye of Ender, welcome to your new home. <gasps> oh no! Oh my gosh! It's an ender chest. Mm. Okay, I don't know how this works. I'm pretty sure you need to have a silk touch pickaxe to pick this up. Well, I guess we have to test it then. Here, have a chest boat. I don't have that much to put in, but I keep look. I keep just looking at it. It's so cool. It's looking back at me. Hello. I should name it. Here we go. Oop, there goes my pathway. Oh, I guess the the big test would be to make two of these, which I actually do need because yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I am gonna make another one. Oh, <laughs> I put my blaze powder in here. Yee! I don't have shulker boxes. This is all I have, okay? This is a great day. This is an amazing day. I need more obsidian. So now we can have one of these at home somewhere. Where do I want this? Okay, can that still open? It can still open. Okay, that's actually kind of cool looking right there. It can watch me while I sleep. That's so cool. I should probably actually put some stuff in there. I don't know what to put in it though. That's so much pressure. Too much responsibility for me. I don't know what to do with it. My very first ender chest. That's, that's exciting. 
what do I do with it? Well, that was kind of the big thing that, that I wanted to get done. So I think now start detailing the base. I don't have that much of a plan about how I want to go about doing this. Although when do I ever? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go with it and see what works. My goodness, I, if I have to ever look at another piece of oak or spruce again, I would have to um, politely decline. Yeah, but, uh, but whoever is giving it to me would probably be like, no, you should have some more because it's, it's good and I worked hard on it. And I'd be like, oh, okay, sure. And then I'd take it because I, I, I have a problem with uh, disappointing people and not being able to do it. So I'd take it anyway and it'd probably make me sick. But it's done and here we go. I'm going to show you. Here we go. So it hasn't changed too much. Like I said, I haven't done too much of the detailing of the interior yet because that's a whole other beast. It's very patchy and that's kind of the point. I wanted it to look like it was made out of scrap wood. So this is my attempt at that. Looks probably even more dilapidated than the ship itself and I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, but it's probably fine for now. So there's that. That's the entrance from the beach side that is so much nicer than having to boat over here every time I want to go in somewhere and no more scaffolding so now I have to use these fun little ladders which are taking up to not the most convenient route <laughs> there I will learn how to use them eventually here we go again still working on the lighting situation I'll sort that out in the interior phase but for now we've got these fun little bits and bobs here. So here's one of the little portico things. There's another one. And for some reason, this is the only one with a door. I don't know why. It's just, that was always part of the plan was for this one to have a door. Okay. And then going up to the next floor using this fun scaffolding bit. Here's another platform that goes up to a ladder. This is supposed to look like a rope ladder. That's why it's on trap doors. Also, it's just there's nothing else to attach it to. So why not? There's another hanging platform up here and then another little patio thing that does not have supports but needs it. And then again, I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to do with these big open spaces. I kind of just want to keep them as big open spaces. Maybe I'll put some glass in later. But for now, I think I kind of like the open concept. And then we got these. All the escape pods, which I kind of just turned into balconies for now until I can figure out actual interiors for them. I think it'd be cute to have some beds and stuff over here. And then there's another little walkway here, another little catwalk. And then the one down here, the one escape pod that's actually gone, it has a little patio here. Not entirely certain what I want to do with the interiors right now. I want to make it look like the inside of a house, but obviously since it's inside a spaceship, I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to do that. <laughs> Just plop down like a countertop and a bunch of ovens and that's maybe a bathroom somewhere. I don't know. So right now I'm just worried about it being livable. I'll worry about it being lived in in a little bit. There's another rope ladder here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area. Up we go. And then we're up on the thrusters. Go up this ladder 
to get to the platforms up here. And I think this one's just gonna be kind of like a deck. So I might put some chairs. There's all the wooden platforms that I wanted to put in. And for some reason, I'm just a little bit intimidated by the interiors for this one. There's too much. I don't know what to do with this much space. What do you, what do, you do with a mega base? You know what? I'm stumped. I need your help. What should I do with, with the inside of this thing? I don't know, maybe we could do a training area. There's really not enough space for anything too fancy, but there's also too much space for me to do what I would normally. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with all of my space. There's too much. As an incentive, once I'm done with the interiors, I'm gonna tell you the name of the thing because it does have a name. Extra points for whoever can figure out what to do with this space. <laughs> Ow. But up here, I definitely know what I want to do up here. So maybe I'll do that today. Hmm. Should I do it for science? I think I should do it for science. Oh yeah, I could totally make that. Geronimo. Yay, it works. Let's go get the materials for the decks. finally figured out some way to use these shroom lights and not have to use lanterns absolutely everywhere. Kind of just made my own lanterns out of them. I don't know how much light they give off, but I like this a lot better than just spamming lanterns everywhere. Here we go. Some little deck areas. I didn't add too much, obviously. I can't really because there are so many trap doors around, but I think this gets the point across. So we got some deck chairs, some outdoor chairs, some umbrellas with some more shroom lights just because I could. No tables and then the carpet's supposed to represent like beach towels or blankets or something that people have just left out. I'm really happy with how this turned out so far. This is going to be a really fun project as we go. I think it's just really interesting with Minecraft builds in general. There are so many ways that you could build things, but my favorite way is to do it in a way that looks like there is a story behind it. That's why so many of my builds are already broken down and already look lived in. The iron farm is a good representation of that so is the bee farm it's more interesting to me if somebody's already been there <laughs> sure i kind of use it as an excuse to hide the fact that i am not that great of a builder and i don't know how to make stuff look clean and polished and cute but i also just like the idea of people living there before me and me just like borrowing it for a little bit as i'm passing through i just i really like that idea it's either that or household objects that's apparently the only two options <laughs> in my building repertoire. But with that, I think that is all the time that I have for today. So thank you all so much for watching. We got a little bit done. We got the ender pearls figured out and we got the decks figured out. That's very exciting for us. And we made our very first ender chest. That's a big deal. We have lots of options of what we could do next week. Obviously we could continue building the inside of the, the ship. So please give me your ideas for that in the comments. And also down below, let me know if you want to see me go to the end. I'm don't want to think about that right now, but we definitely could now that we have the Ender Pearls and I have no other excuse other than to just do the thing that terrifies me. But that's a tomorrow problem. We don't have to worry about that right now. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure to leave any comments, critiques, or cries of shock in the comments below. If you are new to the channel and this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hello and welcome to Junk Drawer Minecraft. And if this is not your first time seeing one of my videos, please consider subscribing. It'd be really helpful and I have lots of new series and episodes and other fun stuff coming out here soon. Speaking of which, as of right now, that new multiplayer series that I told you about is coming out very, very soon. So keep your eyes open for that and uh, go support the other people who are a part of it because I'm very excited for it and I'm very honored to be a part of it. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Minecraft Junk Drawer. Goodbye all. Goodbye. Such a colorful umbrella. Whoop. Hi. Nice to see you. You're very tall. <laughs> okay, bye.